Number 5. Mylishu, Kyrgyzstan When we think of radioactive soil, we often think it comes only from bombs and problems caused by poorly managed nuclear power plants. Well, in the case of the Mylishu in Kyrgyzstan, its radiation comes mostly from mining for materials used to supply power plants. As a matter of fact, in 2006, a report from the Blacksmith Institute said Mylishu was one of the 10 most polluted places on Earth. Not only was the site the home of uranium mining and the processing facility, its uranium waste was so poorly managed that it now houses 36 dumps of the stuff. That's almost 2 million cubic meters. Since the region is also located in a part of the world that is prone to seismic activity, potential movements of the sites could expose the waste and cause some of it to end up in rivers, contaminating water that's used by hundreds of thousands of people. They might never suffer a nuclear attack, but they still have good reason to live in fear of radioactive disaster every time the earth quakes. Number 4. The Polygon, Kazakhstan Another neighbor of Kyrgyzstan is Kazakhstan, whose polygon was once the Soviet Union's nuclear weapons testing spot. Moscow had chosen the place to do its atomic bomb testing because of its uninhabited status, despite the fact that 700,000 people live there. The polygon was where the Soviets detonated their first nuclear bomb, and it holds the record for the place with the largest number of nuclear explosions in the world. 456 tests over 40 years from 1949 to 1989. The testing that was carried out at the facility, and especially its impact in terms of radiation exposure, was kept secret until the place was closed down in 1991. Scientists estimate that 200,000 people's health has been directly affected by the radiation. Number 3. Mayak, Russia It's sad to say that our third most radioactive place in the world is, again, in the ex-Soviet Union. Mayak, an industrial complex in Russia's northeast, had one of the world's worst nuclear accidents back in 1957. Close to 100 tons of radioactive waste was released when a huge explosion occurred. This contaminated a massive area. Believe it or not, the authorities were able to keep the explosion quiet until the 1980s, but as early as the 1950s, the surrounding area and Lake Karachi were used as trash bins for the nuclear waste. This obviously caused the water supply to be contaminated. Karachi might very well be considered the most radioactive place in the world, and over 400,000 people that live nearby have been exposed to radiation from the plant as a result of all the serious incidents that have occurred, including dust storms and fires. Lake Karachi's natural beauty hides deadly pollutants, and the level of radiation in the waste that flows in its water could kill a human being within an hour. Number 2. Chernobyl, Ukraine the name Chernobyl sadly became synonymous with radioactivity when one of the world's worst nuclear accidents happened 30 years ago in 1986. Although most of us had never heard of the place, which again was in the Soviet Union, Chernobyl became instantly infamous. Still to this day, it's heavily contaminated. The awful accident exposed over 6 million people to radiation, and although it's very hard to pinpoint the number of deaths directly linked to the incident, estimates start as low as 4,000 and go as high as 93,000. It's believed that the accident released 100 times more radiation than the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombs combined. Although the people of the Ukraine were directly affected, it seems that Belarus absorbed 70% of the radiation. Not surprisingly, its citizens have been developing more cancers ever since. Number 1. Fukushima, Japan In 2011, a devastating earthquake and tsunami off the coast of Japan destroyed homes and lives, but also leveled the Fukushima nuclear power plant, which caused the most long-lasting effects. The natural disasters caused the very unnatural meltdown of three of the six reactors at the power plant, leaking radiation all around the surrounding area and into the ocean, the worst nuclear disaster since Chernobyl. Radioactive material was even detected as far as 200 miles from the plant. Although the government and scientists have been working to diminish the environmental impact of the catastrophe, the world will probably feel its consequences for decades, if not centuries, to come.